that when we consider those patients who have a high risk of recurrence and initial high risk of recurrence, the structural the, the um, structural incomplete response in those patients who had an excellent response to treatment is around 14%, which was already published by the group of Dr. Tuttle in 2010. And perhaps it can be decreased if we have a pre-ablation stimulated thyroglobulin less than one and negative anti thyroglobulin antibodies, which may be decreased this prevalence to 2.9%. So the excellent response to treatment means that most of these patients are going to do really very well in the long-term follow-up, even for those patients who have with high risk of recurrence.